Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone, um, no matter where you're watching from. In this video, I will be talking about a nice fun tool which I created. So one of the strengths of Geometry Node is its scalability, the ability to kind of create anything you want. And that has bleeded into the hair system where it has a lot of potential, but um, especially for beginners or non-technical people, setting up your hair system might be tricky to do. Um, I have the patience to do it, um, but sometimes I want like a one-click solution. So th this is what this video is going to be offering you. I was a big fan of the old hairnet add-on for, for the old particle system. Uh, it helped me a lot, but that came with some limitation, which I wanted to solve uh, with the new ge geometry node system. And yeah, I'll be giving this out for free. The link will be in the description. So what does this do? So it's a very simple add-on that uses um, the edges of your geometry to generate hair. So, and you're not limited or you're not constrained by any rule uh, like worrying about the vertex count or the position or anything you just create it and it works all the time because of the geometry load uh, so let's just look at a simple example um, I have a simple plane here let's say it's our head um, I select a couple of edges and mark them as sharp so these are operations which you could also access here mark as sharp and then instance sharp edges and you get this okay uh, at this point you could play with a uh, lot of stuff i keep doing undo okay so you could play with the clumping uh, you could play with resolution if i subdivide this geometry now it affects it so a um, lot of cool stuff uh, with this project and now you can also convert it into um, hair just with a couple of clicks. And this is all working with geometry node. And if you want like a specific tutorial showing you how the node is set up, uh, I can do that. You just have to request in the comment. Uh, by the way, link to this add-on will be in the description. It's a free add-on. You can just take it and use it for yourself. Um, it also works for curves. So if you prefer to work in that method, we create a nice curves system and let's duplicate this. And rotate this. Okay, so to use this, we have to convert it to a mesh first. So this is just a mesh. We select everything and mark as sharp. It stands from edge. Um, there are a lot of parameters here which you could play with. Um, reduce the radius, you get in. Increase the sample count to have it more smooth. And you make this into a hair. And there you go. And you also have access to a modif adding hair modifier where you can increase the count of it and have nice uh, stuff to go alongside it. Um, it's pretty easy to install. You go to edit preference, install the add-on which you would download and you should have this. I will go over some of the features, uh, which I've somewhat done already, but it is easy. So you have the Mac Sharp. It, these are basic operations which you could run in Blender. Instance um, Sharp Edges. So it's basically all the edges you've Mac Sharp. Um, you can turn this in, them into an instance so you can create, create like duplicates um, and then edges to hair. And then this is the hair modifier. Uh, so let's actually explore this and like for a project and see how we can use this. Okay, so I just roughed up this quick hair shape and I'm just going to select this bunch of edges that I, once you're done, mark sharp and instance from hair. And there you go. So you might want to turn off this clump if you don't want that. And you can always switch it, um, set this to 0.5. To switch the clump, you can just move the slider negative and it switches the clump. Uh, you can increase the amount of hair and increase the resolution. So you can just play with this. So another cool feature um, that comes in handy is you might get some penetration into the 
scalp. So most times you don't want to have this, um, especially if you plan later to deform this hair with this mesh, you, you don't want that. So the quick fix for that is to be able to snap the objects onto the root so we can. Okay, so we're doing the opposite. So all the hair will be snapped onto the scalp. If you're happy, you just convert it into hair and it just works. Uh, so we can use this, but if you want to have more controls and do some more changes, you can add the hair modifier, play with the radius, the children amount, can use clumping and you still have a snap into objects. Especially when you add more hair, maybe some things might fly off the rail. So this will be give you the ability to kind of play with it. Um, and at this point you can basically comb it. Uh, right now this is flipped onto the wrong way. Like I want to, this is the hair's evaluating this point as a start point. Um, at the early stage, you could fix that. Um, so fixing that, you just switch the curves. So it's going to switch the start and end position for you. And you should not have that issue. And then we add the hair modifier again. So we can ground this nicely. So it can be a very nice starting point. And how this becomes even more powerful is you can attach hair. You can attach it onto your character. Hopefully this works. It's very tricky to get to work as expected. Um, so to make it right now, if I select this and save, select this and do P, attach to curve, um, it looks good here. Um, but to be safe, uh, what you do is cursor to selected. You select this and origin to 3D cursor, which you could find here. And if you do it now, it still happens, but yeah, um, you can still move this. But this is certain things which you experience using this kind of method. Um, so you want to do it very cleanly. Uh, I just did it randomly, but. Um, you want to do it cleanly, very clean. I don't know if cleanly is a word, uh, but yeah, this is the add-in. You, know, you check it out for yourself. I hope you have fun with it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you want to see the ge full geometry node creation setup, uh, you let me know too. Okay, so bye bye for now. I'll see you next time.